Under normal circumstances in Nigeria, a military man takes home less than 100k as salary, while our politicians, those of them in the National Assembly, only their newspaper allowance alone can build you a house. I mean, monthly newspaper allowance can start you a foundation and even build you a house. Not to talk of their wardrobe allowance, their travel allowance, their house help allowance, their driver allowance, and all sorts of allowances. We are not even talking about the salary. So guys, finally, a Nigerian military man who remains anonymous has come out to speak on hardship and also why Nigerians should actually come out to protest. It has got to that point that this military man is even urging Nigerians to come out. He's begging Nigerians, come out because we are equally experiencing more of the hardship. I mean, a military man saying that the hardship is even telling more on them than the ordinary citizens. He's encouraging Nigerians to come out and that he's sure that the military is not going to go after anybody. It is only the bad element that the military is going to be going after take a look i you know the work i do i'm a military man okay and i'm just sharing this i'm just sharing this to you because you're my friend at least right from time okay um you see this protest that is coming up i want you to know that majority of we the military i'm posting i'm sending you this message regards the the status you posted that the military should stay away and all of that my brother, majority of us in the military, in this Nigerian military, both police, army, navy, air force, in fact, all the paramilitaries, we are suddenly, suddenly, uh, solidly behind this protest. You know why? Because the hardship is even affecting all of us. You understand me? So it is insane for any military man to be ordered to kill innocent prote uh, protesters. You understand me? Please, I want you, you know me very well. I can never take such order, even as a military man. I can never, I can never ever take such order. I should go and give when don't I have civilians as, as family? When my family members are civilians, eh? I should go and kill them. Or if another military man kill my family members where they are. You understand me? So please, I don't know how you're going to send this message to WhatsApp group. Miss every you know we as military we, we, we cannot partake in any protest because Cap A twenty covers us, that is our constitution. Cap A20, it covers us. We cannot partake in any protests. You understand me? So if you are protesting and you see any military guy, please, any military man with gun, please, I beg of you, it is not to harm innocent protesters. Although our youth, they allow the governments, these bad governments, to use us in hijacking the protest, start fight, unnecessary fight anyway. Please, I beg of you, if you tell your people, tell uh, all the civilians that are coming out for this protest, nobody should come with anything like weapon, no knife, no no st no uh, stick, no gun. I know a lot of civilians now like this now they get their personal weapon. Please, no weapon of any kind. You know why? Because even as a military man, like me now, on that very day we will be posted, deployed out for peace. Nobody can order me like this to kill anybody. We have to we have to maintain peace and stability of that protest. Now, while we are there, we see one or two crazy people who call themselves protesters coming. If you see, if you they go and you see somebody coming towards you with a, a what is it called a stick? Do you know that stick can kill somebody? There is a place that will hit you with one just one hit with a stick, and you are gone, brother. You will not be alive again to fire that you are gone. That's right. You understand me? So, you will not say, because I'm carrying a stick, I will go with anger close to a military man to attack him, and he will not fire me because I am carrying a stick. No, my brother. He himself wants to stay alive for his family too. But please, if everybody comes out with placard, right, this government is bad, brother, we know. We know. You know, I cannot post this voice note I am sending to you, I cannot post, but you as a civilian, you can send it to any group you like. You understand me? Please tell them, no, but let us come out. The military, I know in this con uh, in this country, we, we a lot of people hate the military so much. See, let me tell you, in every organization, there are bad eggs. There, even in religious gatherings, there are bad eggs. In organi any organization, there are bad, civil organization, public places, anywhere, there are bad eggs. Even in the police, that you think uh, police is the most corrupt organization, you never see anything. There are bad eggs, and they are still good people. They are still good people, my brother. Even among the civilians, among the youths. Okay, who will the government, with all those politicians, who will they use to hijack the protest? Is it not the youth?
youth. That, those are the bad eggs. You understand me? So I am not here to defend any military. It is my organization. But what I'm telling you, bros, we still have good people. There is no way protesters will come out peacefully and protest against this bad government of the day. And any sane military will go out. They don't ponder that military man in the mat. You know, you can never, even now your colleagues will deal with you. You understand me? So please, my brother, forward this message as quick as possible. I had to take my time to send this message to you. Send it to any group. Let them take their time to... I know a lot of them will still not hack into it because they, their hate for military is, is, I, 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 is unimaginable. But please, anybody come... They protest. You see, any country has the right to protest when the government of the day is not doing well. That's what the Constitution says. But it is not violent. It should be a peaceful protest. Please. The security men that are coming out is because anyway there are gatherings like that, they have to be security agencies. Mm -hmm. You understand me? It is not for uh, this thing. You know, the arms they are carrying is not to kill uh, the, the protesters. You understand? Please and please, I'm begging you. I know you have the right to say yes, this, 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 but please, I'm begging you. Even all of us, we don't tire out. All of us, we don't, we are tired, man. We are tired. See, in this country now, civilians are the, even, are the ones that has the mind, if you don't know. You civilians, are now you people will have the right to tell the government what you want. But we in the military, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. That's right. Do you understand me? So please, forward this message as fast as possible to any group. Let them read it. Anybody that is coming out to protest should come out peacefully to protest. Let me see that. Let us, see, you, 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 I don't even know the plans where we get for me. Let, let us see that military man that will fire anybody where, where no they attack, where they protest against bad government. Yeah, he go tell us whether he, where he's from, whether in this Nigeria in there, I've been away in there. You understand me? I beg my brother, forward this message. You understand me? All of us here in Kaduna, we know everything that is going on. And we are secret, I'm telling you the truth, we are secretly behind the politicians. I mean, I mean behind the youths. You understand me? We are secret because it is too much. Oh boy, we have gotten it up to here. Our cap 820 act does not permit us to uh, do all this. Thing. Even on our formality, we are for start if, uh, because now we have the weapons. You understand me? So please and please forward this message as soon as possible to all the groups. Make them forward. Anybody with the group, make him forward. Them. You understand? Make him forward. Them. Okay. So guys. We told you guys that, you see, everybody is just silent. Be not because they don't feel the heat of this government, but because people are afraid to speak. You speak, you die. You know all those stuff. People are afraid to speak under the Tinubu's administration. Nobody wants to face the wrath of Tinubu. And now that the, the youths want to come out to protest, guess what? Many people are in support of this protest. Even the military, the police, the uh, civil defense, and all that paramilitary you know uh offices they are all in support of this uh, this protest because guess how much is their their feeding allowance hey as if it's money to pay docs i mean sometimes we've been told that the military is giving 1000 naira you know per meal you can imagine that we don't know how much they collect now but you need to see how much this military collect these are the people fighting these are the people defending nigeria and we see all these are port belen politicians who just sit down in the house of assembly they are the ones enjoying the world of nigeria you know just their newspaper allowance alone is going to like build you a house just their wardrobe allowance alone every month will start with a foundation, might even finish a house for you. But the military, the police, the civil defense, and other paramilitary, uh, uh, you know, offices, those people there, they are willing. They are hungry. You can imagine there was a time we were told that the military, they are being paid 50K. Hmm. Nigerians. They are being paid 50k and this, uh, our senators, just their newspaper allowance alone is in millions. Their wardrobe allowance every month is in millions. They are, uh, you know, the one they used to rent to, to pay for their drivers, their, their, their cook and all the people helping out in their family. 
they are in millions and one keeps wondering what kind of what kind of inequality do we experience in nigeria what kind of inequality are we seeing in this country nigerians it is getting out of hand and that is why everybody must come out to condemn what is happening in this country nigerians should come out and protest whether you are Igbo, you are not Igbo. this protest is for everybody we must all join hands together to build a better nigeria we must say no to this government we must resist this thing administration we must resist this draconian rule we must resist this you know they just want to come and rule us and say we should be quiet you can imagine we must say no to them and that is why oh my god this guy is coming out to speak you can imagine the way he's lamenting the way he's lamenting tinubu budget new jet of how much how much hey nigerians this is why you have to come out to protest. If you are not directly affected, your relatives are, your brothers are, people around you are. And that is why we must say no to this Tenubu's government. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.